<clears throat> Hi Capricorn, what's up? Welcome to your reading. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Well, hangman here and we have the Six of Cups. Alright, uh, Capricorn. Should we start with them first? Or should we start with you? Let's start with you. I really like your energy, guys. Alright. So, uh, Capricorn, you have the magician and a death here. A lot of you are manifesting a brand new beginning, a brand new opportunity in career, in your goals, in your finances, or you're just trying to manifest someone new in your life, someone that you deserve. You feel that you have all the skills that you need. You have all the power that you would need. You can do anything that you want. You're so confident. You're so coming up as so fucking sexy, Capricorn. You're manifesting stuff left, right, and center. There's a huge change, a huge alteration that you have made in the way you think. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius also, okay? There's a huge alteration. There's a huge change that you have made in the way you think about this connection. And the way you think overall, there is an alteration that you're making, which is going to be so, so good for you. You're making a huge change, which is going to be absolutely stepping out of your comfort zone. I said this in the Sagittarius reading. You know how snakes shed their skin, right? And they become a new version of themselves. That's exactly what you're doing, Caps. That's exactly what you're doing. You're confident. You're on your own. You're single. You're manifesting, you're abundant, and you know that, you know that power, right? Where you feel like you can just have anything that you want. So all this while, you could be doubting yourselves, okay? You could be doubting yourself if you're okay without this person. You could be doubting yourself if you could get someone better than this person here, okay? So there was a lot of uh, manipulation going on within yourself where you probably were dodging the process. That's no longer happening. You're not dodging the process anymore. You're doing it the right way, doing the right thing at the right time, using your skills. You know that you have all the four elements with you. You have the universe with you and the power is in your hands. I think you're changing yourself. You're changing uh, your approach towards love. You're changing your approach towards this connection that you have ended with someone. So I'm talking about someone. After there's been an ending here with you and someone here, you could have cut cords with someone. You could have just completely ended a relationship or just no longer wanting to be with someone. I don't feel you're with this person right now. You've completely let something go. That's what's happening and that's what you're doing. You're changing yourself, all right? I think there is a huge pause. There is a huge pause in your connection between you and the person you're dealing with. Again, there could be a temporary break. A break. There could be a temporary separation or uh, you've just, uh, for right now, things are just up in the air. But I do feel that while you're waiting for either this connection to come back or you're just waiting, pausing and thinking about what to do next, you're slowly changing your perspective. The way you approach things, the way you see things, you're changing your perspective and that perspective is changing. It could have been something very, very tough for you. I feel you are in a place where it's so tough for you to let this relationship go. So tough for you to change the, the way you think or the way you approach relationships. But you're still doing it no matter how tough, how tough it is. Okay. So you realize that in order for you to uh, gain something, okay, in order for you to uh, get something that you want, you need to make a big compromise. And I think you're compromising. You're compromising your uh, mindset. You're compromising your root belief system. Whatever it is, you are your badass Capricorn right now. I do feel here that uh, you have mental clarity. While waiting, this is what I said, right? While waiting... Uh, and why this relationship is on a pause because there is no movement between you and the person you're dealing with I feel things are stuck in stagnant. There is just no movement. Okay. It's all come to like a halt Okay, like a screeching halt all of a sudden Okay, uh, there could be silent treatment between you both or it's just like everything's just floating You're just letting it float. I feel you have mental clarity you could be second guessing yourself all this while. You could be doubting yourself. Okay, but now you have that clarity. This could be um, some kind of uh, universal truth 
this could be some harsh truth or this could just be some uh, harsh reality that you've realized okay or uh, there could just be some information that you get from somewhere or there could be some information that has been downloaded from the universe to you where you realize you know what no this is the right track i deserve this new beginning on my own i deserve to let this relationship go i deserve to take a risk and see what's out there for me and that's what you're doing capricorn you are having a you're taking a risk you're taking a leap of faith and moving forward you're moving towards an amazing new beginning here okay something that you probably were holding on to all this while because you didn't know what the future was holding here you were probably having more uh, doubt than faith but all of a sudden it's like an aha moment that you had okay and you're like no why not i want to take this risk what if there's someone who's better out there for me or what if i take a risk take a leap of faith and move forward okay and uh, that is what destiny is but you're taking that leap of faith you're moving forward here but overall yes there is a little bit of more time while you're sitting there changing your perspective but you're doing great you could be very very guarded in love is also what i'm getting here you could be very careful you could be having a lot of paranoia if there are new options that are coming into your life you just do have trust issues but yes what i like is that you're changing the way you're thinking here that's amazing the person you're dealing with uh this person now first of all this person misses you a lot okay they miss you a lot here this person here wants to rush in they miss you they have nostalgia they miss the best memories that you had okay uh they all always do right the moment you let them go they always miss you right yeah whatever so but yeah i mean it's it's just so annoying right so when i was with you you didn't give a fuck now that i'm not there in your life all of a sudden you want to miss me all of a sudden you want to come back in i don't know i don't think so but yeah this person misses you this person probably even thinks that you're their soulmate okay or um yeah there could be an age difference there could be a significant difference between you both all right take it how it resonates but yeah this person here is now willing to invest into the future of this connection they have the clarity that they need they have the enlightenment that they need i feel this break this pause between you both uh was required you know like they say right sometimes you go on in a relationship only because even if you see the red flags you want to still still keep going on so i feel here this person here now has the clarity while you guys were on hold they know you make them very very happy they see their joy success happiness with you you're the one that they want no one compares to you they probably even want a family with you if you're uh married this person may want kids if you're dating then this person wants uh to probably uh get this relationship out you know in the open they don't want to hide this anymore the truth is revealed and they probably even want to announce to people that you guys are together or they want to be with you here something is no longer a secret okay according to them here they want to keep it out in the open here i do feel here that this person here is uh, either for some of you this person could be uh, giving to two people and they want to give you more this is for a few of you don't freak out for the others of you i feel this person was probably abusing their position okay they were taking uh, advantage of you uh, there was a lack of appreciation uh, they were uh, their emotions their love their um, their investment into this connection was with strings attached all this while it's like i it's i give you this much but you give me this much so you were always receiving lesser than what you were giving here but now i feel this person here realizes that it's always an equal give and take it's always a balance and they want to balance the skills with you but definitely they have had an enlightenment they've had some truth okay some kind of um something just came out in the open something that was revealed to them all this while that they were not seen because of their fears it's all coming out of the open here okay now <clears throat> for a few of you this person could be having to choose from two people uh although i don't get that too much for a few of you for the rest of you i feel that this person here sees you completely badass they sees how bad as you are so now i'm getting here that after you guys were on a break or if you guys broke up you haven't chased them you haven't chased them you went along doing you okay and um uh, it's all about like i got my shit together i'm okay with or without you you went ahead uh, exploring your options or probably for a few of you you would you just you know for a few of you after you let go of this relationship 
probably you uh, regained a lot of confidence okay so they love your state of mind they love that confidence that you have by like, you know what like okay it's not working out fuck you <laughs> okay all right never mind good luck that's what they see in you okay they see you as someone who probably has a lot of suitors they see you as someone who probably is just doing your own thing you realize your self worth you realize your value but it's like that energy where you're throwing up that i know what i want i know what i deserve and i'm not going to be afraid to go out there and get it whilst they are sitting there emotionally attached to you they have a lot of deep emotions for you okay this person here loves you a lot cap they love you a lot which is why this person runs away from you so for your few few capricorns what i'm getting here is that if this person has a habit of running away from you it may not be personal it may not be because they're running from you it's probably because this person's running away from getting emotionally vulnerable or being hurt emotionally for a lot of us we might look at someone as a player here but if i'd go a little deeper in it i'd say that this person is in and out of your life because they come towards you because they want you right you are the direction for them and the, they they run away because they get emotionally attached they kind of don't trust you they have trust issues maybe they feel maybe this person has been hurt in the past and they don't want to be hurt because when someone's emotional or very very sensitive right i'm getting someone who's very sensitive so they tend to shut down okay they tend to go back into their cocoon you could be someone very confident you could have learned your lessons you ch- you're changing they're not they probably haven't forgiven from some from someone from the past who hurt them so bad which is why they're bringing the fears into this relationship here okay so be very careful here they're coming back around here they want a reconciliation here they miss you they love you they want you but just uh let's see the outcome here wow we have the king of cups and the queen of cups here so baby what i'm seeing here is that you are choosing to move forward here that's one thing i'm getting this person is coming back towards you all right they miss you they want a reconciliation with you they reminisce the past you sweetheart have reached that point where you have emotionally balanced yourself you have choose you have chosen to master your emotions okay you are at a place where if this person messages you you wouldn't be all gaga about them you would be like like oh my god you message you just have a very balanced approach a very peaceful calm approach where you're being very wise with your investment and emotions or you're being very wise about the way you react to someone here okay so even if this person messages you or reaches out to you right this time around here i feel you're not going to be like uh overwhelmed i feel you're just going to think very logically and think from your head and your heart i have a very balanced approach i think you're going to keep it very cordial with this person here you're not going to shun them away completely but you're going to keep it very cordial like yeah, hey what's up it's been a while something like that but you are definitely very confident that moving forward is what you need to do right now you're successfully moving forward and i think you could be getting a lot of public recognition but i feel overall you could be getting a lot of attention from other people also why because you're coming off as very sexy you're coming off as someone so badass and so cool why all this is because you chose to do the inner work you chose to heal you chose to listen to the universe you chose to uh, be abundant you chose to be okay where you are and you chose to let go of what is not meant for you and you chose to uh, welcome what is meant to be in your life okay capricorn this is so beautiful that was that was awesome but anyways they're still coming back they're still coming back they can't get over you they love you they want you they miss you they're rushing back for some of you this person here could be someone who's very focused on their career or uh, they're going to come back and sweep you off your feet that's awesome all right good luck guys and uh, leave your comments below i'll see you next time bye bye see you next time bye bye See you next time. Bye bye. See you next time. Bye bye.